Alright, so I'm gonna attempt to fix this fan by drilling it. So first what you want to do is remove the label. So this fan you can't remove the blades, so it has a plastic backing here. So I'm gonna try and fix this. So it helps to have different sized bits. I have this one with a really sharp point, so I'm gonna try and use that first to start it. want to try and get as close to the center as possible. All right. Feel it. So, can be a little tricky. I think I missed the center a bit. Yeah, it's tough to get the center of this thing. Well, we'll try with that hole. So once you get it started, switch to a smaller bit. Or not a smaller bit. Well, I guess technically it's smaller. And then basically what you want to do is try and hollow out the center of this plastic piece. Okay. Okay. Oops, I forgot to turn off my notifications. Hopefully it'll keep recording and not have my notifications be too annoying. Alright, switch to a larger bit. So here you can see, once you drill through you get to this white plastic piece. And that's the part that kind of... Um, the fan, the post, it kind of like rests against that. It's a low friction material. Um, so I don't need to drill anymore. Once you get to that white layer, then you can try and drip um, grease into there, okay? So just like my other fan repairs, you'll take a bottle of oil. Okay. Oh no, my phone's gonna keep beeping. Alright, grab a needle, get a little oil on the needle, and then just drip it onto there. Alright, it'll be a little tough to get the oil into it. You sometimes need to pull the fan in and out to kind of get it to pump the grease. As you can see it kind of, I don't, hopefully you can see that, but it pulls the grease in. Okay, so... As you can see, the fan's spinning quite a bit better now. Okay, so it is working. The only problem with this is you can't seal it as tightly anymore. Um, okay, um, I usually just use a piece of tape to hold it back in place. Again, just pull the fan blades in and out to try and get it to pump the grease into the bearings. Okay, it's hard to see, but the um, the blades, the propellers are going in and out slightly, and that that motion um, causes it to suction the oil in. So now you can see the fan is much much better. Okay, I accidentally broke one of these posts trying to pull it out, but hopefully it's stable enough. I'll have to test it at high speeds to see. All right, once you do that, you want to get some napkin or paper towel. I'll clean the oil off the needle. All right, you also want some rubbing alcohol. Okay, so usually what I do oops, first is clean the oil off the top. Okay, you're going to make an oil smudge on the top. That's normal, so what you need to do after that is get some rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's not too wet. Sorry, make sure it's not too wet and then just wipe that off, okay? You should see that the whole surface should no longer be turning dark from the grease. That's how you know that you cleaned off the grease. Okay, there we go. So now check the fan one more time, pump it up and down, spin it, and it looks like it's good to go. Once you get that good to go, you want to get a piece of tape. All right, peel it off, 
cut it, cut it into a square. Usually once I get it as a square, I cut the corners off. I don't know if you can actually see the tape because it's so clear, but once you do it, you'll cut it like that so it's kind of more rounded. And then you can put the piece of tape on top over the hole, just like that to seal in the oil. All right, if you want, you can put this thing back on top. Not that it's needed, but you can. Just so if you need to replace the fan in the future, you have that information. Okay. And then we got this little cover. You want to put that back on top. Just like that. Then you want to take some tape. Oops. I already got some tape from the other one. So you want to take some tape. Cut it. Oops, make sure you get rid of those triangle bits. Okay. And since you cut those plastic tabs off earlier, I didn't show it in this video, but in my other video I cut off the plastic tabs, so you want to put some tape over to hold that in place. Alright, if the tabs click in place, you don't... If the tabs click in place, you don't need to do this part, but, um... Usually it's nice just to have something holding the fan in place better since before it had those melted plastic bits. All right, there we go. I think I have a customer waiting outside for me or something that's messaging. But um, anyways, that's all there is to this. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me and it'll also help others find these videos and fix their devices as well. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.